guys, I'm Gogeta and I'll be talking about Falco. So, I'll first go off with his properties. Falco is one of the slowest characters in the game in terms of uh, dash speed, being the 50th fastest in the game, which is in the bottom half of the spectrum. But he has the 25th best initial dash in the game, making him uh, really good in fox trotting. Uh, and as well as having the 10th fastest walk speed in the game, which is also really good. So most of the time, uh, when you be playing Falco in neutral or when you're on the ground, you would either you would want to walk a lot. I'd say walking is probably his best movement option as it's really fast, and you can also easily access tilts out of it or possibly smash tags and so on. And yeah. Uh, you can also sometimes like if your opponent reads your movement too much you can like dash in then foxtrot back as foxtrot is really fast as well being 25th fastest so you can like walk in foxtrot then come back and grab for example so like let's say you your opponent anticipates you always coming in with a down tilt or always coming in with an up tilt or a left tilt for example you can like walk in foxtrot then create punish with a grab yeah something else about falco is that he has the highest jump in the game obviously and something to note is that his full hop reaches the top platform of battlefield alone without needing to directional air dodge which is really good so he can get out of like let's say you're scared of ground games from your opponent or let's say you were near the ledge you're on ledge and you're trying to get back you can simply just jump over there and be like play, a, play an anti-shark game for example you can be down something else is he, when it comes to his fast fall, he's tied 11th to 16th of uh, fastest fast falls in the game. Uh, as you can see, he falls uh, fast, like out of short hop, out of uh, uh, full hop, because he's 11th to 16th fastest, being tied with uh, Wolf, Krom, Roy, Young Link, and Mega Man. And something else to note, which was surprising, is that Falco is considered a featherweight. Well, it might not be that surprising since he's all feathers, but still, he's considered a featherweight, and uh, he's the 14th lightest character in the game. So it's not that hard to get raw uh, to get killed by like a raw kill option. And I'll talk about Falco in general, he is mainly a bait and punish character so you mainly want to play bait and punish by like stuffing out jumps for example by using your laser to scare them to stay on the ground so you want them to jump a lot so that you'll be able to anti-air with fair, nair, full up back air or you can go under and up tilt and so on. Uh, you can also bait uh, them to shield for example by lasering on the ground or the air for example or every now and then coming in with a fair which could scare them and they'll go in shield uh, and why would you want them in shield because Falco is one of the best in shield pressuring and shield poking as he has up tilt, he has landing fair, he has nair, he has down tilt which can also shield poke and so on so it's really good in shield pressuring as well because now with the new buff it's down air it's now minus 6 I believe so you'll be able to like down air up tilt or down air up smash the shield for example or you can like uh, down air uh, down tilt or you can simply just down air dash back and fair if you're anticipating him to try and punish for example and so on but he has a really bad disadvantage uh, being off stage or getting juggled because it's not that easy to recover with him as his recovery can get predictable because of his up B charge and his side B and many people can only use side B like either to grab the ledge or slightly under the ledge or even above and one thing you can do as a mix up is if you side B uh, on stage and you position yourself to land like you get the landing uh, side B like this you're gonna have the landings, you're gonna have the grounded side B and lag. So you won't have uh, that much lag like you were to in the air. So like if I'm in the air here, I have to wait now I can air him. So it's, from, it's like from here till here is the amount of lag I have to air him. But if I'm on the ground, if I land on the ground, I'll be able to opt it instantly. So you can catch that, you can uh, try to do something where it's like, let's say you recover a lot on stage, 
left arm. Your opponent could get used to the amount of lag you have and keep punishing you. But then you can mix it up by side B landing on the stage so that you can, uh, like, let's say, spot dodge down smash because they think they'll be able to punish you. But since you have the landing, uh, the ground lag, which is less than the aerial, then you'll uh, be able to punish them instead of them punishing you. So now I'll head on to uh, Falco's combo game. His main combo starters are up tilt, up throw, down tilt currently, or you can do fair after it or something, and side B, grounded side B. But it's best to hit the second half of the grounded side B because the first half won't, will be too far and you'll have too much leg to combo after it. So some of his 0% uh, bread and butters, you have uh, up tilt into an air which can be combined into a fair drag down or you can get uh, up tilt up air of course or you can also get uh, up throw up air or you can get up throw in air, up throw fair, up throw there so up throw will combo to all of his airs at 0% and if we're on battlefield for example, or if you have a stage with uh, platforms, you'll be able to do something called the active hop. And I'll get to what it is in a bit, I'll just show you how to do it. So, uh, what's it called? What you have to do is, there's a Falco player called active, which he discovered that you can cancel a short hop uh, into, a f into a double jump. So if you do short hop double jump up air, that's called the uh, active hop. And two combos into up air nair, which you can uh, then drag down. Which it might seem like, okay, so why don't I do full hop instead? Because if I do full hop up air into nair, it's not true, he'll be able to air dodge it. But if I active hop, because I'll instantly be able to fast fall after uh, the up air, because I'll be reached the full, uh, full height of the double jump, then I'll be able to instantly fast fall nair which will drag him down uh, easier because if I do full hop up here I won't be able to fast fall as fast and I'll be too high for the drag down to be true so that's something and another thing is as I mentioned before Falco's full hop will reach the top uh, platform of battlefield so if you're on battlefield you can get an up into up air then landing up there, which is also true and you can just combo extend after that uh, another of his uh, uh, combo starters are, is down throw and what you can get after a down throw is you can get uh, down throw fair which you can also drag down or you can get down throw dash tap but it's not uh, mainly used at these percent it's mainly used at like around 30 percent so it's not that useful to be honest but that's something to mention uh, you can get down throw uh, dash up tilt or you can also get down throw da uh, up smash which also is if you're against uh, some characters you'll be able to down throw and drag down the fair uh, but it doesn't work on all characters and I'll show you what you can do for example after the down throw fair you can get a down throw you can drag down the fair and on some characters you'll be able to get the down tilt but since DK is big and he'll land earlier, you might not always get the down tilt. So you do the down throw, dash up tilt, nair, fair drag down, down tilt, fair drag down, and uh, you can combo it into up tilt again, for example. So I'll try showcasing it one second. After you can get this, for example. And you'll be able to get out of damage. Or even at uh, without getting the down throw, the down throw would add more damage, but you can just get a throw out of uh, a regular up tilt. And it even frame trap if they try air dodging because you get the landing hit of fair. So there's this thing you can do with Falco after the down throw. If you land an up tilt, you'll be able to get the up tilt into near to drag down fair, down tilt, drag down fair, up tilt, up fair, up fair, fair. So that does like 80% from zero. That's if you execute it correctly. It's not that easy to get, but you can get it. Uh, and when it comes to, again, combos, his main uh, kill confirm is a combo itself, being at a uh, high percent, let's say at 120. He has up throw back air, which will kill. And if you're slightly above up throw back air uh, kill percents, 
like let's say at 145 or 140 you'll be able to get an up air which can act as a DI mixer because you can anticipate whether the eye to the right or left if he's the eye towards the left he's gonna be safe so if he's the eye towards the left what I would want to do is cross up again over here he was dead because he was the eye towards the right and I hit him from the right side and his other kill options would be at higher percent you need the sweet spot of down tilt which can uh, kill you can also get an up smash out of shield or up smash as an anti-air and something else to note about his up smash is if your opponent rolls from ledge it can catch uh, it can catch roll from ledge although his up smash doesn't scoop from down like it doesn't hit crouching uh, opponents nor hits short characters but for some reason if they roll from ledge the up smash will scoop them from down which is weird so like this for example uh, and it's not only against DK, it's against almost all characters, even short characters like Squirtle. For some reason, it just scoops them off of the, the ledge. Something else to note about his down tilt is his down tilt has three hitboxes. It has the sow, it has the, let's say, the weak one, the medium one, and the strong one. Uh, and they all have different uses. So the strong one, obviously, you would want to get when you want to kill, and that's uh, nearest to Falco. And then he has a weak hit, which doesn't send nearly as high, but it's mainly used at uh, mid percent, not necessarily low ones. At low percent, you'd want to get the down tilt, the strong one. So, and his mid one is like almost the same as his weak one, so you don't have to worry that much, it's just between them. So, like at 20 percent, for example, I can get the strong one and I can combo. When, I, when he's at like 40% for example, I don't want to get the strong one because now I'm going to have to full hop in order to start a combo. And usually in this range, uh, you'll only be able to get one aerial off of the full hop. So what you would want to do is you would want to try to get the sour spot and now I can do a short hop aerial and I can possibly drag it down or extend it. Like if I get the weak one, I can fair drag down or I can even up air after it. Like for example, uh, like this. So mainly, again, at like mid percent, you'd want to try to get the weak one because if I, again, if I get the strong one, I won't be able to short hop aerial. I have to full hop, and I'll only be able to get like two aerials. While if I get the weak one, I'll be able to fair drag down, which can extend to many combos. Something else I'd want to mention is when it comes to tech chasing, for example, his main tech chase option is side B right now after the buff and you'd also want to get the second half of side B for it to combo well or if you read his roll in I'll be able to uh, what's it called down air into up air I can also down air into back air uh, like this for example and it kills and uh, the, ra the range for down down air back air is so big it's like way bigger than up to the back air and you can also use it as a combo starter like into up tilt at lower percents uh, you can also use it after reading a roll from ledge for example if his percent was let's say around uh, 90 because DK is big if, we, if your opponent's on ledge for example and the read is gonna normally get up you can land down air into down air or you can get uh, down air into reverse back air for example or down air into fair you can get this for example, or down air into fair to kill him if you read his normal get up. And same thing goes with his uh, tech option. So like, if I read his roll in, for example, let's say he rolls in, okay? I read his roll in, I can get this for example, or air dodge in, uh, and so on. Another thing to note with Falco is if you land an up throw at 40% and you won't be able to extend it that much, if they're too far, you can get a shine, for example. Like let's say my opponent DI's away after the up air, so I up here, now he's too far, I can get a shine to just extend it or just hit him for extra damage. Uh, shine also has many uses, it could be like a spacing option sometimes, but don't always do it because it's laggy. Or sometimes if your opponent is off stage and he's trying to uh, recover, I can drop down shine to push him away and then uh, land with a fair which can trade a lot. Or his other uh, options. Keep in mind that most of Falco's combos work best when he ha uh, when you have a bit of percent, so like around 50 to 100 percent, so that you have rage. 
which can deal more hits onto your opponent so that your combos can uh, uh, connect to each other better. Uh, when it comes to edge guarding with Falco, a lot of people like to always uh, down air, which is obviously one of his best options, but uh, it's not always the correct thing to do. Um, the best times to down air is when your opponent is between this line of recovery uh, to here, for example. This is the best range because you can simply just drop down fair and you won't have that much risk involved and you have your jump and you have everything. Uh, something else you can do is you can uh, drop down fair, for example, or you can uh, drop down back here for stage by, uh, which is something not many people uh, remember. Is that obviously that percent where you can't tech in this game, and Falco's back air becomes untackable at 120%. So if your opponent's at a high percent and he's recovering by hugging the wall, for example, you can just uh, drop down back air. So you can just simply drop down back air and it will be untackable and he'll be dead. Uh, some other things to mention is, let's say uh, you're trying to edge guard any character. The main thing you'd want to do is you try to force a low recovery, which is done best with uh, laser. So laser will try to scare them to jump, and if they do jump, they'll get hit by the laser, or you'll be able to fare directly after it. So like I can just spam lasers, and he'll be forced to go to a low recovery. And when he's low, that's where Falco can actually work best because you'll be able to get the spike with skills early. You'll be able to uh, drop down fair, for example, and so on. Another thing Falco can do is you can uh, uh, try to like spike with a side B if you save your jump, or you can try to drop down shine and uh, retreat back, for example. Uh, you mainly want to try to let them recover low because his uh, covering higher recovery isn't as good except you have fair for example or up air. Uh, but up air doesn't have that big of a range and would send them higher which is uh, not where you want them. You want them mainly to be down because you'll be able to kill them easier with spike or you can stage spike them or you can con consistently keep them off stage again and rack up percent or damage. When it comes to Falco himself being off stage, you'd want to keep in mind all of your recovery tools. So you have your up B, you have your side B, you have your jump, you have your wall jump, and you have an air dodge. When it comes to Falco, he can get edge guard really easily because his recovery becomes predictable, knowing when he's gonna side B or knowing when he's gonna up B, and even when you don't know when his up B is, he has to charge, which is really easy to react to. Um, so what you would want to do is sometimes you would want to mix up either side being to the ledge or side being down and then up being or you can side be down and if you have a jump for example you can like jump wall jump or you can drop wall jump reverse B to land and you have many other options but you have to use your tools uh, carefully so that you don't get edge guarded Another important thing with Falco is you have to learn how to angle well so that you'll be able also to recover from high distance. And when you're doing the angle and you're angling down, don't hold down the whole time or else you're gonna miss the ledge and you'll fall and just die. So you should angle it and then let go when you're near the ledge, uh, just in case you don't uh, fall. And something else to note is, if your opponent tries to come off stage while you're angling from up, you can get semi-spiked, which is weird. And yeah, I held down, but if you don't hold down, you'll grab ledge and he would have died, or even if he teched, you would be able to drop down downer after it, and he'll still die. So yeah. Uh, when it comes to your opponent's edge guarding you, uh, let's say he's gonna come off with a fair, uh, you should keep in mind your opponent's tools and yours. So always save your jump at lower percents, because you could be susceptible to getting gimped. So if I'm against Cloud for example, and I know Cloud wants to come off stage and fair me, I would purposely not jump, get hit by the fair, if my percent is low enough and I know I won't die, so that you can reverse edge guard him, so you'll be able to jump back here Cloud after he down airs you, or you can jump down air him and still come back, because you know that Falco has a really high jump. So that's his best way of getting out of disadvantage, which is reverse edge guarding.
something Falco excels at a lot is juggling, obviously, because he has his really good anti airs and juggle tools such as up tilt, up air, and even up smash. So, all of these can serve to juggle and anti air. So, and especially since he reaches full hop really fast because he has a fast air acceleration, which is the 25th fastest in the game, which means he reaches a stop speed uh, at a fast rate, even though his speed isn't that good in the air, but he still reaches it like really, really quickly. So it's gonna be hard to react to, so you can like anti-air a lot, and the upper hitbox is huge, it's from front, it hits from back, and so on. Uh, and your opponent, while he's getting juggled, if he doesn't have that much uh, landing tools or landing options to come, he'll most probably try to retreat off stage and try to recover to ledge or retreat and try to somehow come back on stage. And now that he's off stage, you'll be able to do your uh, lasers to, let's say, prevent him from jumping, going down airing or fairing, or you can even wall jump uh, fair, you can drop down back air to spade spike and so on. So you have many tools. Uh, when it comes to Falco's out of shield options, so let's say DK nears me, I can grab, okay, his grab is uh, pretty fast, and other than grab, you, you have Nair, Nair is his fastest out of shield option being frame 5, but the problem with Nair is that its initial hitbox is only within him, uh, and it only hits taller characters while they're standing on ground, so like only while he's nearing towards my shield am I able to uh, Nair. Another out of shield option as you just saw was Fair. Fair isn't as fast as Nair obviously, but it's still really good. Uh, and even if I miss it for example and he shields, I'll be able to retreat back. And since I have a landing hitbox, it will increase his shield stun by a bit, or possibly shield poke him if his shield was low. Against lagging moves like up air, you'll be able to get uh, up smash out of shield. Uh, which is a kill move out of shield, but keep in mind it doesn't always hit many characters. If he does a retreating back air, I won't be able to get the up smash like this for example, because he'll be too far, and the initial hit of Falco's up smash doesn't scoop from that far. It mainly scoops from really close, and its uh, strong hitbox is like, let's say a rectangle above him, mainly being towards my back. So like even if I'm facing behind my opponent, he'll get hit from the back hit of up smash and send him backwards, unless he DI's correctly. So it's also a really good move for anti-airing, so like let's say he's jumping towards me from behind, I'll be able to up smash and to still hit him from behind, because he has a big hitbox mainly behind him. Pre-patch, it was almost only behind him, but uh, after the new patch, they made it bigger. Something else I'd like to mention is when you're against short characters such as Squirtle, it's not that easy to hit them, but as you can see the back hit of Octal doesn't hit, uh, Rising Nair won't hit. Uh, fair won't hit unless you're landing with it and so on. So it's really hard to hit short characters. But what you can do is you can get, you can uh, uh, short hop fast for back air, which is really good. Uh, you don't have to get the sweet spot. It's kind of better to get the sour spot, and the sour spot could sometimes trip. And you can get a grab after, it, for example. So this is one way of uh, countering shorties, for example. So like you know, landing hit with back air, or even sometimes you can just get the sweet back air as a mix up, a mix up your timing with like landing back air or just short hop sour back air, and it's really good against shorties. That's one way to deal with them. Falco's neutral mainly consists of walking, initial dashing, or fox trotting. So you can walk and feed back with a fox trot, for example, to bait out some moves, or you'll be able to walk in down tilt, for example, or walk in up tilt, initial dash, up tilt. You can fair as an approach. You can start lasering to force jumps so that you can anti air, anti -air for example, with up tilts, or near, or fair, and so on. But one thing that Falco struggles against is uh, short characters. Short characters and mainly swords or characters with many aerial disjoints. Because uh, Falco is fair for example, he goes in with his beat or he goes in with his whole hurt box shifting it in as well as his up air. So disjoints will always beat his aerials out unless you are able to predict it or you are able to hit him before his move comes out like Ike for example. If Ike jumps with an air, if you're too late you'll get hit by the air as Nair beats out all of his aerials. 
but since his aerials are faster than Ike's snare, or Ike's uh, landing nair, since Ike's need to short hop fall nair instead of just short hop nair, you'll be able to predict or read it by uh, jumping and hitting it with a fair, which will eat him out. Uh, other thing is, Falco struggles against, as I said, short, uh, short characters and short characters because of a certain technique known as crouch camping. So we have Snake for example, if Snake uh, crouches a lot, so uh, let me put control, if Snake crouches, I won't be able to laser, his uh, down B will miss, the only things I can do is like down tilt, uh, sometimes up tilt if I'm inside him, F tilt to poke, or a landing fair while he's crouching, and only the landing hit will hit him. So there's not much Falco can do at full range or if uh, Snake is spacing him because I won't be able to hit him except for a down air or for a fair and down tilt and left tilt. Why is it really good to crouch camp against him? Because again, you're, you're, you got rid of so many options. You got rid of uh, being scared of laser which is big. You got uh, rid of getting reflected or shine. You got rid of uh, getting dragged down by fair. Uh, getting uh, back air, for example, and so on. And the only things I could do is down tilt or anything that needs me to be really close. But Snake, for example, can just up tilt me or down tilt me. So he can down tilt me before I'm able to down tilt him. Like his range of down tilt is bigger and he has a disjoint. Or he can up tilt out of it, like if I'm trying to uh, uh, fall with a, a nair, or sorry, when I'm trying to fall with the fair or down air, so it's very risky to try to approach these. So, the only counter play I'd say for these are going to stages with slants such as uh, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Story, or Lilat, uh, in which you can go to the slant and in this position you'll be able to shoot them since they'll be above you, you know, because there's the slant. When it comes to stage selecting with Falco, uh, most of the times you'll be comfortable going to battlefield as you have your full hop reaching the, f uh, the top platform which is really good in many scenarios and even extend combos with the side platform or you'll even be able to active hop into drag down nair on the side platforms as well. Another good stage for Falco is Smashville as the stage is really small and it will be easier to approach uh, your opponent since it's small and you'll be able to get a lot of uh, uh, edge guards since you're near the ledge and if you get sent off stage it's easier for you to recover since there's not that uh, it's not that huge off stage so like it won't give that much time for your opponent to come and edge guard you as well as the centered platform in the middle which uh, you can up tilt and it pokes above the platform and as well as up smash and also you can active hot drag down on that uh, platform as well so the stage is really good since Falco actually struggles in approaching and you don't have to worry that much about approaching on this stage since it's really small another stage that I would say is good for Falco uh, obviously Yoshi's story because you'll be able to get rid of crouch cancer uh, or crouch camping as well as you'll be able to hit a lot but the only problem is his up tilt and up smash don't hit the platforms uh, as consistent as Battlefield and Smashville and his full hop doesn't actually reach the top platform so the stage is still small compared to other stages and you'll be able to get rid of couch counseling so it's really good in my opinion another stage that you shouldn't consider banning just for the sake of it is Lilat because again you can prevent crouch cancelling, uh, sorry crouch camping and you'll be able to extend combo on the platforms, the recovery or let's say the, the stage uh, got fixed so you'll be able to recover easier now, you can even wall jump from like almost anywhere from off stage, it's really weird and you'll be able to combo better. So the only problem is it's a bit wide so it might be harder to approach compared to the other stages. Uh, PS2 is wide so I prefer not going to the stage but if you're forced to go then you shouldn't matter that much. Uh, it's just really sometimes it's tricky in recovering because of the edges or like sometimes there's like a square where you'll get stuck and you'll get pineappled or it's really wide so it's hard to approach and so on. The two worst stages are Kalos and FD. 
FD is just wide, there are no platforms, and there's nothing to extend on. And because it's wide, it's really easy to stuff out Falco or Camp Falco, which is what uh, Falco can struggle against. Another thing is again Kalos, since it's really wide, but uh, it's also uh, you can wall jump on the stage more consistent, which is kind of good. But again, the platforms don't help you at all on the sides. Uh, you're more susceptible to getting camped out. Your up tilt back air percent become really small, and uh, it's really hard to get kills overall. Another thing to mention is Falco up tilt back air is his main kill option besides getting an up smash read and if your opponent is out of the range of up tilt back air it's going to be really hard to kill unless you are really close so you have to be near your opponent with a down tilt near him and get an up smash or try to hit them off stage and uh, get a fair for example or down air and so on it's really hard to kill your opponent when they're out of up tilt back air range unless you approach them really close and you're able to get the hit which is not as easy said as done uh, because your opponent will be wary of their percent and they'll be trying to run away or trying to play safe around you so it's going to be really hard for you to approach so I'll just recap the important things to keep in mind is up smash scoops from uh, scoops roll from ledge and that's really important to know because uh, that's one of the ways you'll be able to kill out of up to back your percents uh, wall jumping is very important with uh, Falco and it's really useful in, like, you can wall jump air dodge, you can wall jump spike, you can uh, wall jump fair, like this. You'll be able to do so many things with wall jump and uh, it's really good as a recovery mix-up option. You also have to know that reverse lasers are really good in the air because sometimes you'd want to mix up your recovery, or sorry, you want to mix up your landing out of disadvantage for example and so on. The main tools to use out of disadvantage is like let's say you're getting uh, juggled from high, you'll be able to try to get the sweet spot of fair or even sour spot is fine, you'll be able to fair, retreating fair, or sometimes if you know you're gonna get hit, so the only two movement options you can do is you can either like side, try to side be away if you're a bit early or if you're too late you'll be able to reverse laser to shift your momentum or you can uh, use back air to shift your hurt box towards the back so that if they're hitting you from the right side you're able to back air so that it shifts your hurt box towards the left you also have to again keep in mind your firebird angles and keep in mind that if you're hugging the wall your recovery gets extended even though it looks like you might not be able to reach it uh, you should angle also a lot to mix up your options and uh, don't forget to not hold down while recovering from high rolls you won't uh, snap the ledge walking is his best movement option because you can get easy access to tilts, up tilt, down tilt and so on and as well as you can bait with a uh, uh, fox jump back like you can walk, push it back, push back in, and then grab, for example. And you can just combo after that. And uh, again, you have to keep in mind that uh, it's fine to get hit with Falco as long as you don't die. So you don't have to burn out all your resources for offstage because you need your side B, you need your up B, you need your jump, you need your wall jump and so on. So sometimes as I said uh, with Cloud for example, if he's gonna spike you with fair, you have to keep in mind your percent and if your percent is low enough that you won't die, it's fine to get hit and don't use your jump so you don't get rid of it and after getting hit you can jump and reverse edge guard him or just jump and recover back on stage. And again, the most important thing with Falco in terms of combo is his auto hopping. Because you'll be able to extend combos so much. So you short hop, double jump. You have to cancel your short hop with a double jump and you can up air drag down there. And let's say you have recovery such as Captain Falcon, you'll be able to drop down there. Because it's a command grab, uh, the multi hit will beat it and semi spike it. Same goes for Wolf Side B, you'll be able to drop down there and uh, it will always beat it. You can sometimes down tilt to try to hit people who are holding down coming from ledge or for example Wolf's leg when he up bees you can be able to hit it. Or you can also down smash which is a good option. Uh, if, you're, if you side B your opponent for example and you read he's gonna air dodge, you can just up smash after which will uh, beat his air dodge. Like this for example. Uh, you can punch it. 
and you have many things to do. Thanks for watching. And if there's anything you want to learn more, if you want to learn an aggressive playstyle, for example, you can watch Larry Lur where he knows how to push and excel his advantage to the limits. You can watch Jackster, who is a professional European player that has wins over SCR7 and many other European players, and he's really good at baiting his opponents, as well as Juice. He is a, he's a main of Falco, Greninja and Zero Suit, but you can watch his uh, Falco plays. He knows how to condition his opponent really well and so on. You can also watch <coughs> Gogeta <coughs> or you can also watch Meta of Smash where Meta of Smash is a YouTube channel based on mainly Falco where he teaches you almost everything about Falco if you want to learn from him. And other than them you can literally just watch any Falco player and you might be able to learn something from there even if he's not considered a top player he might not be good at edge guarding for example or ledge trapping but he might excel at combo game and vice versa can happen as well so thanks for watching if you have any questions you can reach me out on twitter and thank you